everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashley. And here on my channel, I talk all about embroidery, applique, Etsy, and running your own small business from home. Um, so you'll notice that I'm in a little different location. Um, I'm usually in my office, but this morning I'm starting out the vlog sitting on my couch in the living room. Um, so it is Monday, December 6th. It is the final push of Christmas order week. Um, I just shut my shop down completely and what I have is what I have to get through this week. So I just tallied it up. I have 80 jackets to do. Um, it's like 50 or 60, between six, 50 and 60 total orders, but 80 actual jackets um, and plus a handful of other things. I've got some test stitching to do. I've got like four or five other orders um, like that are kids shirts. So it's gonna be a very busy week to get all that done by Friday. Um, I'm getting an early start this morning. It's still before six o'clock. I'm sitting here. I've ordered my jackets that I need for the rest of the week and I'm going to be setting up files. I do already have everything set up that needs to ship today, um, but I'm going to try to work ahead as much as possible and just um, stay ahead of the game. <laughs> hopefully um, I will be working with my daughter with me today and tomorrow actually. So um, I'm going to need all the help I can get with um, just staying ahead on track and being able to knock out as many as I can. Um, as quickly as I can. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys along, hopefully all week. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll film each day, but I'll try to get a little bit here and there, and we'll see how this week goes. And if you guys are finishing up the Christmas rush, I wish you the best of luck. It's like 10 o'clock and we're finally, finally going. I've got this jacket. It's actually done and ready for a name. I guess this one decided to unthread itself, and um, well, looks like this one just decided to unthread itself too. So I'm going to get these back going. This is the last test stitch I have to do this week, at least so far. Um, and then I'm going to be working on orders. So these are all boxes, except the bottom one. That's just one I used to raise them up. Um, these are all for orders. And then I've got another big box. It's probably like those two combined um, that I need to sort through and get ready. Um, plus a stack of jackets that I just had on hand that I need to use for orders. Um, so I do have a lot of my stuff here. I'm hoping that I have enough to keep me busy today and tomorrow until UPS gets here tomorrow. And also fingers crossed that they actually get here tomorrow because it seems like they've been running about a day behind. And with the holidays, that's totally expected. Um, it's just frustrating at the same point. So you can see my cutting table is jam-packed full of jackets. Um, this should be most of the ones I need for the first half of the week. I ordered 20-some um, more jackets this morning, and those will be here hopefully tomorrow, most of them, and then a couple more the rest of the week. Um, I left these separate because these should all be for 
one jacket order. It's of 13 jackets. I'm gonna double check um, to make sure they're all in there and correct though. And then everything else is just mostly like individual or, you know, smaller orders. I think there's one order I have that's nine jackets, but you know, actually that won't be here till tomorrow. So, um, but yeah, there's a lot of jackets here. I'm gonna go ahead and sort through these and get them all stacked in the boxes. What I do is I just put them back in the boxes in the order that I'm gonna use them. So I start in the back of my order book, stack them up um, so that the ones I need are at the very top. And then I'm gonna get back to work. So it is now Tuesday. It's early morning, about 6 a.m. Just got down to the office. Um, I just wanted to show you what I got done yesterday. I got this stack in here. I think that's 13 jackets. Then this one started. I just need to go back and add the name. Um, then over here at my heat press, I have another four. I've got two Christmas shirts, a birthday shirt, and then a test stitch shirt that I need to press and take pictures of this morning. And then I also have this little um, hand towel that I did as a test stitch as well um, that I need to take pictures of and submit today. I've had that for a couple days and I just, I need to get that done today so it's not late. So today's plan is about the same as yesterday. I have another like 13, 14 jackets to do. Um, I don't have any shirts that are, I need to finish today, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do one. Um, so I don't have to do it tomorrow. Um, cause tomorrow my schedule's even busier and I have an appointment. So, but I have childcare, so that helps. Um, I'll get hopefully a lot more done tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to try to knock out another 12 to 15 jackets a day and at least one shirt. Um, just keep trucking away on this list for the week. Um, I'll show you guys as I'm working later. So I'm just now getting started for the day. It's just before 8 30. I'm going to get these orders packaged first. You may notice that, um, since I'm shipping UPS, I'm kind of flip-flopping my schedule every day. Um, I work all day and then trim in the evening what I've got done. And then I ship everything first thing the next morning. Um, usually I work all day, trim stuff, package, and take to the post office in the afternoon. Um, but with UPS, they usually come in the morning. So I, and I do pickups instead of taking them there because it's like at least a half hour drive for me. Um, so I'm going to package these real quick and then actually get the machines running and get orders done for today. I think I already mentioned the game plan for today is one shirt done and probably hopefully 15 or 20 jackets. The more I can get done, the easier it's going to make tomorrow and the rest of the week. Um, so I'm just trying to get through as much as possible as quickly as possible. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. It's after lunch now. I actually took a long lunch and rested for a while. I'm noticing I'm needing to do that more this pregnancy, so trying to give myself that grace. Um, but it's hard this week because I've got so much to do. Um, so this is what all I got finished um, before lunch. And then machines are mostly empty. That one's over there <laughs> is finished, but... Um, needs a name at it. And then I need to get the rest of the machines going again. Um, I think I've got like nine done. Um, I need to get at least like 12 or 13. I want to get closer to 20. Um, and like I said, it's, it's late in the afternoon now, well, two o'clock. Um, so I don't have much time before my daughter wakes up, but then I should have this evening to work too. So I'm going to try to get some more going.
the 15 that I needed to get done today. They're all done. I actually got one more done, um, but I already set it out to be shipped um, because I was just waiting on one jacket and it was like a two jacket, two or three jacket order. Um, so the rest of them arrived today. So since UPS still has not picked up my orders um, and it's like 3.30, I'm going to go ahead and package these and go ahead and get them shipped out, hopefully. I know as soon as I say that, he's going to pull in the drive and I'm not going to have them done. But um, these need to ship tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and package them. I got through the minimum I wanted to get through today. This was the 15 for tomorrow. And then um, I probably got the same, well, I probably have more tomorrow. I probably have closer to 20 or so. Um, but then less Thursday and Friday that are estimated to ship Thursday and Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and package my whole stack and hopefully get those done before he gets here. I have these all I have all these um, packages to go out today. I'm going to set these outside for UPS. I think there's, what, I don't know how many. 14 total packages plus what I've already got out there. So I'm probably going to have to put a box out there for him because uh, my box is full already. Hey, good morning again. So it's actually now Thursday morning. If you've been really following along and actually listening to me, jabber, um, you notice I missed a day. Um, so yesterday, Wednesday, I had planned to get a little bit done early in the morning. And then um, I had to be out of the office for a while for an appointment. I was going to come back and work all day. Well, <laughs> Tuesday night and into yesterday morning, my little girl got sick and I ended up taking her to the walk-in like as soon as they opened on um, Wednesday morning and she has an ear infection. Um, so that canceled out um, the sitter that I had <laughs> arranged for yesterday. Um, so she was home with me all day and of course she needed her mommy. And that's the great thing about being my own boss and working from home is I don't have to call in sick um, when I need to be home and with her. Um, I, of course I had to rearrange my schedule. Now I've got a ton of work to catch up on, especially this week. I've got like 30 orders that should have went out yesterday. Um, so <laughs> it's going to be a catch up day. I'm probably going to be pushing it to get it done. Um, cause she is going to be here with me today. I'm hope she's not up yet. I'm hoping she feels better today. Not just her work's sake, but you know, who wants to have their kid feel bad? Um, it's, it's just an ear infection. She'll be fine. She'll, she'll get to feeling better, but I hope it's sooner rather than later. Um, so lots to do today. Like I said, I probably have 30 orders I need to get out and ship today. Um, I feel behind. <laughs> um, but I did not have a lot planned for today. I only had six jackets on my list for today. Um, because I had planned on going and doing some other fun activities with her. And since she's not feeling well, we're not going to be able to do those anyway. So we're going to stay home and work. Um, like I said, hopefully she feels well enough. She wants to be down here and playing and um, not needing to be held or cuddled all day. We'll see, though. If that's what she needs, that's what she'll get. I'll just nap and rest with her all day. And then I'll probably pull an all-nighter because that's what it's going to have to be. Um, so benefits and drawbacks to, <laughs> to working from home and... Um, having your kids here with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, it's six o'clock. She's still sleeping. Hopefully she'll sleep for about another hour. Um, I was only down here in the office for maybe like two minutes yesterday, long enough to bring my box in. And then I had a couple Etsy messages to answer just to stay on top of those. So I'm not behind my 24 hours. Um, which I, drives me crazy, <laughs> but, um, uh, they're all taken care of. I'm going to start just sorting that box out, see what I have and what I don't. I know one of my boxes that has some of my jackets in it. Um, I got an email saying it was delayed by UPS and then I checked tracking. It's because they sent it clear to the other side of the country. So what normally takes me two days to receive is now going to take me eight. Um, so those orders are going to be late going out. I'm going to go ahead and update. I'm going to wait and see today if it moves. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and update the estimated ship dates for those customers um, and go from there because I'm, I'm not going to have the box until next week now. Um, that's a bummer, but I, I'm not mad at UPS over it. it. It is what it is. It's they're overwhelmed as well and mistakes happen and, you know, errors happen and that's okay. Um, I would want someone to have grace with me on that. So I'm trying to be that way as well. Um, and I'm asking my customers to have patience with, you know, their deliveries from me or anywhere else for that matter. Um, it's, it is just how the season goes. It's, it's busy, um, for them as well. So 
Um, I hate being late. I hate having to do that. Um, that's one of the drawbacks of ordering as I go and not having everything here on hand in stock. But I'm, I'm not at a point in a business where I can carry 10 different jacket styles and I don't even, you know, extra small through 4X in every single color. I mean, some jackets have 10 color options. There's, I would have to majorly score down what I offered to be able to even think about doing that. Um, and then if you get bombarded, I mean, I still wouldn't have enough of any one color or jacket or style or whatever to do that. So, um, it's a drawback. It's a risk I take. Um, and it did not work out this time. And even this one that's supposed to be here next day took three days. So <laughs> everything's slow. I'm glad I shut down when I did. And, um, everything's expected to ship by tomorrow. There's my cat up there where he's not supposed to be. Um, and except those ones I'm going to have to update and that they're going to ship next week. And you know, if they want to cancel, I'll let them cancel. If they want to proceed, that's fine too. I'll give them that option. Um, at this point, so I'm just ready to be done. Okay. I've been talking to y'all for five minutes, so I'm going to go and actually get some work done and so you don't have to listen to me talk forever. All right. So it's just a short little bit later and you'll see I have stack of jackets back there. I went through and sorted, um, what I have and what I still need and made kind of made a list and tallied it up. The four that I'm missing are actually all for the same order. The ones that got misdirected and are floating out in, um, on the West coast on their way from Texas to Illinois. Um, <clears throat> so I only have to delay one order. That's probably a good thing. Um, I don't have to delay four. That's good. So it'll all be for one order. I'll probably set that whole order aside um, and finish them last and then just finish the other four jackets when I get here next week. Um, I did forget to order jackets for like the last six orders. I, I know how I did it. I'm just surprised that I did that because I've been trying to be so careful lately. So I just ordered those now. I actually reordered those four jackets that I'm missing on the off chance that maybe they'll get here faster. I'm not sure. They're still going to come from Texas. So who knows? Um, they still may get misdirected and and they may arrive, they'll probably arrive at the same time as the other ones that are already on the way. But, um, gave it a shot. I needed a little bit more to get the $200 free shipping anyways, or I was going to pay just as much in shipping. Sometimes it's just, it pays to add a couple extra things on, um, your order to get the free shipping because it's actually cheaper that way. Um, so that's what I did and I'm getting ready to get started. It's 640. My daughter's starting to wake up which is normal. She's usually up by seven between 6:45 and seven. Um, I don't have all my files set up yet. I have quite a few of them for today done, but, um, I'm going to start doing that until she's fully awake and then I'll get her and get her ready for the day and see where we're at. And hopefully we'll be able to be down here working by around eight. Hey guys. So I didn't get much vlogging done today. I got on a really good roll this morning and got like half of my orders done that I needed to get done to get caught up done this morning. And then I totally crashed and burnt after lunch. Um, I just didn't feel good. Totally wiped out. I did lay down to take a nap for a couple hours with my daughter and I'm just not getting back at it. It's after four o'clock. Um, the ones I have going now are super fast stitch outs, like less than 10 minutes each, if that. Most of them are like five minutes. So those are gonna go quickly. Um, just trying to knock out a few more before I probably quit for the day here at five o'clock. Um, I have my big box that I got finished, so I'll show you guys. So I just reused one of the boxes that all my jackets come in, and I've just been tossing them in here. As you can see, they're not even trimmed or anything yet. I'm gonna do that tonight um, while I'm watching TV with my husband. I'll just trim those up and have them ready to go for tomorrow. But otherwise, we are just rolling on some of these quick and easy jackets, trying to get as many done as possible. Um, as many as I can get done today is just going to help me out tomorrow. I don't want to put off for tomorrow in case I don't feel good again tomorrow. So, um, these two boxes here on top are what I have left to do. That one's a 13. The one on the bottom here, the middle one, I guess, is a 13 piece order. And those are just regular orders. Five of those in there, I'm actually not going to worry about. Um, five of those in there are part of a nine piece order that I'm still, as I explained earlier, I'm waiting on four of the jackets. So I'm just going to set those aside and not stress about those. I'm going to have to postpone that order anyways. So um, I'll just worry about getting those done this weekend um, and get everything else shipped on time on Friday. Um, so kind of rearranging how I, my schedule is, but that's okay. Um, 
for my kids shop I have two dresses I need nativity dresses I need to do tomorrow and then that's the rest of my Christmas orders for that shop um, and I'm gonna upgrade them to UPS as well you know they didn't pay for the upgrade I'm just gonna give that to them complimentary um, just to ensure that they get there and hopefully in a timely fashion good morning so now it's Friday I know this is kind of went quickly or I've just kind of blogged here and there um, so I actually caught my daughter's cold that she had earlier this week that I took her to the doctor for. So I have not been feeling well. Um, so I took yesterday afternoon and all evening off and then I went to the doctor first thing this morning um, just to make sure I'm good to go for work and everything. Um, and I am. So just antibiotics and I'll be fine. Um, so I'm probably going to take it a little bit easy today, but I am going to um, trim, fold, package all these orders that are already finished. And then I have, what did I say, nine jackets. Well, I only have three or four of those jackets on hand now, and the rest will arrive with UPS later today, hopefully. Um, and then I have that 13-piece order I still need to do. Um, so I have 22 total that need to ship today, plus two nativity dresses. We'll see if I get through those. Um, I'm definitely going to try to get those thir that 13-piece order done. It was supposed to ship already. Um, and that customer, I've already updated that it was going a couple days late, because they did switch some jacket colors and I had to order some stuff in. So they already know that, um, it was going to be a couple days past what I originally had quoted them and they're okay with that. Um, but the others I'm just waiting on, like I said, UPS to get here. I've got actually a nine piece order that I can't even do because UPS decided to ship my stuff to the West coast instead of to Illinois. So that's fun. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started just trimming, folding, packaging those real quick. And once that's all done and set out for UPS, then I will focus on getting these orders done. Um, but like I said, hopefully I can work through as much as possible today, even if that means just little by little as I'm feeling okay to do so um, and resting in between. But we'll get it done one way or another. So it's about an hour and 15 minutes later, and I have all these orders packaged. There's like 20-some-ish in there. I'm going to set them out for UPS and then get my machines rolling shortly.
here's the finished version of the nativity scene. This is from Marmy B. You'll notice I had several thread breaks. I get these every time in the same spot. And it's just the digitizing. There's certain areas in the design you can see that these bean stitches are super close together. And there's just a lot of stitching in one area and I get thread breaks. Um, I've tried different needles, different thread, the whole thing. It's always in the exact same spots though. So that leads me to believe that it's more of a digitizing thing. Um, and and Marmy B stuff's great. It stitches out great, but it's just these teeny tiny little areas where there's a ton of little stitches that I get lots of these thread breaks. So I now have this group order going. This is the second um, and third jackets going. I have another one ready to go with the matching sorry, neon coral thread. And I have a nativity one done and it just shredded and broke the thread again. So I'll get to re-thread that again. Um, it's like the third time this time around. Um, and then I already have one done. Um, so this time, this is my order sheet here. I try to check them off as I go with a highlighter. Um, if I have bigger orders, I actually tag them um, with like the specifics for each jacket, like the name, if there's any specific colors or fonts or something, I just put like, I clip a piece of, um, paper, just identifying each. This is only 13. So I'm going to try to do them in order as much as possible. Um, just use my list and then cross reference because they each pretty much have a different font. Um, so it'll be easier to distinguish between them, I guess. So here on my counter next to my computer, I have this 13 piece order. Um, all the logos are on there. I still need to do the names next. Um, but the last one's finishing up, and I guess it's decided to tangle up, and I need to fix that. Um, this machine's getting ready to do those names as soon as I get one started. And then over here, I'm working on the last four orders, like regular orders. So there's this one plus three more over there. And then I'm just setting the ones that I'm regular orders that I'm finishing right there. Otherwise, I am actually just about done. It'll take me a little bit to get through those 13 names and get them trimmed up the rest of the way, but um, I should be done with this hopefully within the hour, maybe, um, and be able to <laughs> just be completely caught up other than the jackets I'm waiting on to come in Monday. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me this week. I know it's been a busy, crazy week. This video is probably super long and a lot of me chatting, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but I hope you enjoyed it or got something out of it at least. Um, um, this is just a typical busy, crazy week for me. Um, I don't normally have this many orders, but I used to every week, uh, before I had a daughter and before I was pregnant again. Um, but trying to find a new normal right now, um, and just get through this last little Christmas rush. I have this one 13 piece order right here that I'm going to finish up probably tomorrow because I'm just tired and done for today. Um, and otherwise the last two jackets are finishing up the names and they'll be done and ready to ship. So I'm going to call it a night. Thanks so much for joining me. Hopefully I'll have some uh, more fun content for you guys shortly. Um, and thank you if you stuck through this entire video.